Anthony from Hatcher's Net here. <clears throat> when I was little, uh, my mom or my grandma, I don't remember, it was for, for Christmas, it was by Santa, got me Scattershot, <clears throat> and the other got me this the Seacon uh, Snap Trap. And for the longest time, I only had Scattershot. Now, uh, this, of course, is a newer one. The old Scattershot is, is put away in a box with the original Snap Trap. So, <clears throat> more recently, I decided, well, why don't I just try to buy the remaining parts? And I was like, well, okay, let's see. And you go on to, like, eBay, where, where most people would probably go to, and you see, well, they don't have all the pieces or whatever. And I'm like, you know, I don't like that. So I ended up finding on Amazon a reseller of, of the second version of this guy. And the problem is they are they're about 25 years old. And um, it is hard to move their pieces and so I got to be very careful with this now of course this is the Technobots uh, Scattershot's the leader uh, you also have uh, Afterburner, Lightspeed Nose Cone and Strafe I assume this is Nose Cone this is Strafe and I don't I, Afterburner, Lightspeed, I don't know anyway so today we're going to combine them now uh, as I mentioned before I had uh, scatter shot. So what, what what they do in these old toys is when you buy the the main piece, the core, you get like the uh, you know the foot plates, the face plates, the the head, the the arm. So I basically have doubles of everything. And un, un, unlike uh, the special edition Piranha kind of bot, this guy was just simply hey they released it again and then some warehouse had it sitting in a dusty corner and they're trying to liquidate it so um i end up getting this from uh hasbro or not hasbro um uh, uh, what was a uh, whatever the takara i guess so luckily it was the english version which really helps me out but uh, let me look at all the pieces of course is the ones that came with scatter i got doubles of uh, these cannons, for example, actually are the shoulder-mounted cannons uh, that go on scatter shots. You can actually put them in the little torquey pieces uh, for the combiner. And um, so there's just a lot there. So we're going to put this aside for right now. And we're going to try to get these guys ready to become uh, Compution. So the one thing I really liked about uh, scatter shot was this. I just thought it was really cool. And... Um, Back in the old days, uh, I just had him and uh, Snap Trap, so <laughs> I would create their combiner form and just fight them in like short versions of the combiner. Um, oops, forgot to not push that button. So anyway, to transform him, we kind of have to do this. Now the funny thing is, the joints for the combiner are in his knees, so it gets interesting. Uh, let's see, is that difficult to turn bit I was talking about? There you go. So, throw this up in his back. Put his wings back. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. <clears throat> so, I'm not going to pull his arms out. But I'm going to flip this down. Oh, so difficult. Well, older toys. Actually, I don't think I need his head to come up. I think I need it to stay there. Yeah. Which was that? So trying to figure out which was the new head. Okay, this one is. It's supposed to fit in there perfectly. Oh, there we go. There we go. Got his head. And then chest plate. Now the the thing that bothers me is I did the stickers wrong. So you like see this one. I I, I you know what? I, I I don't remember putting the stickers on the original guy. I think maybe maybe my mom did it, but um did it myself at work when I had some downtime <clears throat> and uh, I was like well okay and I messed up a lot of stickers like some of these guys stickers are messed up I, I I'm happy that new toys don't make you do stickers I'm I, but that's also why they're probably more expensive but yes so I used to fight him against snap trap in this form uh, hilarious just hilarious okay so we're looking at this it tells you how to convert him I already figured that part out so now we got to transform these guys into what it's showing on the picture here. So it says light speed, 
uh, there's some up and down. It's like, here's this thing if we use them for an arm. We're not doing that today. Yeah. I think I've had problems with this previously. Uh, so what's supposed to happen is... Okay, so we have that done. Arms are down. And then the front of his piece is supposed to come up and reveal a peg. But I've had a problem trying to do this before. Uh, again, it's what happens when, when the toy is super old. See, here's the piece. Then you push this back down. And we're golden. And uh, you know what? While I'm here, I'll find the new versions of this. Voila! Got a foot! Uh, yeah, that's correct. And I had to look at it. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, so. It shows left foot and right foot stand, but I don't, I don't think the stands have a difference. But anyway, keep his head up because we're just going to use him as a body piece. It says his arms need to rotate some. I guess to keep it out of the way. And so he just goes in like that, like butter. Then let's see. This guy, his wings go back. What am I doing here? Oh, I'm trying to get this. Okay, so his his head is his little piece. Uh, Shine it back like this. Oh, and then. Oh, I guess that does look cool when his cones are up like that. Okay. And the head's still... I guess they're all on the same axle because they keep trying to move together. But, uh... Here's that and it says he gets a fist. And then he's so compact. I, I, okay, so obviously this is the bottom. His head comes out like this. Oh, that was actually super easy. Barely any inconvenience. I'm thinking about thinking to myself, I finally have the pieces and how I used to play with this guy when I was little. And I'm like, man, wow, that is, I'm about to form him. This is actually the first time I've ever combined him um, because I've been worried about the head thing because he, the head goes into the joints here and I'm like, I don't know if I want to risk it, but, oh, no, ah, okay. The joint is tough. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna take a small break from doing that and, and try the arms. Oh, got one in. It's a foot. Uh -oh. Ah, something is a foot. Haha. <laughs> With jokes. <sighs> Try next. Oh. Looks weird because there's so much extra sh uh, space between his sides here, but, oh well, I mean, nothing I can do about it. Okay. Oops. 
going to be careful. Okay, so what apparently I needed to do was push against there. Go push against one of the sides. His arms look disproportionate. It's very weird. Okay, that fixed that one a little bit. Okay. So then he has this big old blaster. Now, I mean, all these guys have all their own weapons and stuff. But, I mean, obviously we're not going to play with those. You tell me he can't even hold his own gun? So you're like, one of these guns he can hold? Because, I mean, they make it where it looks like it could. Oh, uh, oh well. Yep, no. Well, anyway, that is Computron. Uh, wow, I, this is the first time I've ever, again, the first time I've ever put them together. I've been worried about doing it before. Um, not too bad. I mean, he's a little bulky in the back, but I mean, look, he stands up, so I guess it isn't too bad. I wish my sticker job was better, but uh, that that is that is sweet. It's 35 years. I finally finally have a completed Computron. Anyways, oh, he is back heavy. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. We would also like to thank our contributors and patrons for supporting this video. If you wish to add to the discussion, post a comment below. Please remember to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos. Thank you for checking out our content. Before you leave, please remember to click like and then subscribe. If you want to receive notifications, do not forget to enable them by clicking on the bell. Then afterwards, check out our social media at Hasledge.net and our website at hasledge.net.